The standard pronunciation of Cantonese is that of Guangzhou, also known as Canton, the capital of Guangdong Province. Hong Kong Cantonese is related to the Guangzhou dialect, and the two diverge only slightly. Yu dialects in other parts of Guangdong and Guangxi provinces, such as Taishanese, may be considered divergent to a greater degree. Cantonese syllables A syllable generally corresponds to a word or character. Most syllables are etymologically associated with either standard Chinese characters or colloquial Cantonese characters. Modern linguists have discovered there are about 1,760 syllables being used in the entire Cantonese vocabulary, which cover the pronunciations of more than 10,000 Chinese characters. Therefore, the average number of homophonous characters per syllable is 6. Phonetically speaking, a Cantonese syllable has only two parts, the sound and the tone. Sounds a Cantonese syllable usually consists of an initial onset and a final rhyme. There are about 630 syllables in the Cantonese syllabary. Some of these, such as and a, i, po, bang, k, e, jong, are no longer common. Some, such as k, ek, and k, ek, chi, or k, a, and k, jang, have traditionally had two equally correct pronunciations but are beginning to be pronounced with only one particular way by its speakers, and this usually happens because the unused pronunciation is almost unique to that word alone, thus making the unused sounds effectively disappear from the language. Some, such as k, k, kuo, p, u, i, pe, c, zui, ka, ja, have alternative non-standard pronunciations which have become mainstream as k, pu, i, g, and k, respectively, again making some of the sounds disappear from the everyday use of the language, and yet others, such as f, a, k, hu, o, f, hung, tp, da have become popularly, but erroneously, believed to be made up, borrowed words to represent sounds in modern vernacular Cantonese when they have in fact been retaining those sounds before these vernacular usages became popular. On the other hand, there are new words circulating in Hong Kong which use combinations of sounds which had not appeared in Cantonese before, such as get one, note, this is non-standard usage as, t, was never an accepted, valid final for sounds in Cantonese, though the final sound, t, has appeared in vernacular Cantonese before this, pt, notably in describing the measure word of gooey or sticky substances such as mud, glue, chewing gum, etc., the sound is borrowed from the English word get meaning, to understand. Initial consonants Initials or onsets, refer to the 19 initial consonants which may occur at the beginning of a sound. Some sounds have no initials and they are said to have null initial. The following is the inventory for Cantonese as represented in IPA. Note the aspiration contrast and the lack of voicing contrast for stops. The affricates are grouped with the stops for compactness in the chart. Some linguists prefer to analyze j and with as part of finals to make them analogous to the i and u medials in Mandarin, especially in comparative phonological studies. However, since final heads only appear with null initial k or k, analyzing them as part of the initials greatly reduces the count of finals at the cost of adding only four initials. Some linguists analyze a p glottal stop in place of the null initial when a vowel begins a sound. In casual speech, many native speakers do not distinguish between n and l, nor between p and the null initial. Usually they pronounce only l and the null initial. See the discussion on phonological shift below. The position of the coronals varies from dental to alveolar, with t and t more likely to be dental. The position of the coronal affricates and sibilants, t, s, t, s, s, is alveolar and articulatory findings indicate they are not significantly palatalized by vowels. Historically, there was another series of alveolopalatal sibilants as discussed below. Vowels and terminals Finals, or rhymes, are the part of the sound after the initial. A final is typically composed of a main vowel, nucleus, and a terminal, coda. A main vowel can be long or short, depending on vowel length. The vowels a, p, e, and o are each long short pairs with corresponding formants on acoustic findings, while the vowels p, are also phonologically analyzed as a long short pair. The vowels of Cantonese are as shown 
a terminal can be a semivowel, a nasal consonant, or a stop consonant. The semivowel, I, is rounded after rounded vowels. Nasal consonants can occur as base syllables in their own right and these are known as syllabic nasals. The stop consonants, p, t, k, are unreleased p, t, k. The following chart lists all the finals in Cantonese as represented in IPA. Finals, u, m, n, p, t, and t only appear in colloquial pronunciations of characters. They are absent from some analyses and romanization systems. A narrow transcription of the vowels that are conventionally transcribed, a, t, is actually, t, as both are central and not fully open. The same can be said of the diphthongs, a, i, a, u, i, u, as their actual phonetic realizations are, i, u, i, u. See the vowel charts at the right. When the three check tones are separated, the stop codas p, t, k become allophones of the nasal codas per meter, n, respectively, because they are in the complementary distribution in which the former three appear in the check tones and the latter three appear in the non-check tones. Tones Like other Chinese dialects, Cantonese uses tone contours to distinguish words, with the number of possible tones depending on the type of final. While Guangzhou Cantonese generally distinguishes between high-falling and high-level tones, the two have merged in Hong Kong Cantonese and Macau Cantonese, yielding a system of six different tones in syllables ending in a semi-vowel or nasal consonant. Some of these have more than one realization, but such differences are not used to distinguish words. In finals that end in a stop consonant, the number of tones is reduced to three. In Chinese descriptions, these checked tones are treated separately by diachronic convention, so that Cantonese is traditionally said to have nine tones. However, phonetically these are a conflation of tone and final consonant, the number of phonemic tones is six in Hong Kong and seven in Guangzhou. For purposes of meters in Chinese poetry, the first and fourth tones are the flat level tones, ping sheng while the rest are the oblique tones. Zi Sheng. This follows their regular evolution from the four tones of Middle Chinese. The first tone can be either high level or high falling usually without affecting the meaning of the words being spoken. Most speakers are in general not consciously aware of when they use and when to use high level and high falling. In Hong Kong, most speakers have merged the high level and high falling tones. In Guangzhou, the high falling tone is disappearing as well, but is still prevalent among certain words, e.g. in traditional Yale romanization with diacritics, Psalm high falling means the number three san, whereas Psalm high level means shirt shan. The relative pitch of the tones varies with the speaker, consequently, descriptions vary from one sources to another. The difference between high and mid-level tone, 1 and 3, is about twice that between mid and low level, 3 and 6, 60 Hz to 30 Hz. Low falling 4 starts at the same pitch as low level 6, but then drops, as is common with falling tones, it is shorter than the three level tones. The two rising tones, 2, and 5, both start at the level of 6, but rise to the level of 1, and 3, respectively, the tone 3, 4, 5 and 6 are dipping in the last syllable when as an interrogative sentence or an exclamatory sentence. Gen Shi, really, is pronounced Sen Hai. The numbers. 394,052,786. When pronounced in Cantonese, will give the nine tones in order: Romanization, Yale, Psalm 1, Gao 2, Say 3, Ling 4, Ng 5, Yi 6, Chat 7, Baat 8, Luck 9, thus giving a good mnemonic for remembering the nine tones. Like other Yu dialects, Cantonese preserves an analog to the voicing distinction of Middle Chinese in the manner shown in the chart below. The distinction of voiced and voiceless consonants found in Middle Chinese was preserved by the distinction of tones in Cantonese. The difference in vowel length further caused the splitting of the dark entering tone, making Cantonese, as well as other Yu Chinese branches, one of the few Chinese varieties to have further split a tone after the voicing related splitting of the Middle Chinese four tones. Cantonese is special in the way that the vowel length can affect both the rhyme and the tone. Some linguists believe that the vowel length feature may have roots in the Old Chinese language. There are also two changed tones, which add the diminutive-like meaning, that familiar example, to a standard word. For example, the word for 
silver, yin non four, in a modified tone, non two, means coin. They are comparable to the diminutive suffixes air and z of Mandarin. In addition, modified tones are used in compounds, reduplications, chin chin ching cam four cam four cheng one greater than cam four cam two cheng one. In a hurry. And direct address to family members, mei mei mui six mui six greater than mui four mui two. Sister. The two modified tones are high level, like tone one, and mid-rising, like tone two, though for some people not as high as tone two. The high level change tone is more common for speakers with a high falling tone, for others, mid rising, or its variant realization, is the main change tone, in which case it only operates on those syllables with a non high level and non mid rising tone, i.e., only tones 3, 4, 5, and 6 in Yale and Jayutping romanizations may have changed tones. However, in certain specific vocatives, the changed tone does indeed result in a high level tone, tone 1, including speakers without a phonemically distinct high falling tone. Historical change Like other languages, Cantonese is constantly undergoing sound change, processes where more and more native speakers of a language change the pronunciations of certain sounds. One shift that affected Cantonese in the past was the loss of distinction between the alveolar and the alveolopalatal, sometimes termed as postalveolar sibilance, which occurred during the late 19th and early 20th centuries. This distinction was documented in many Cantonese dictionaries and pronunciation guides published prior to the 1950s but is no longer distinguished in any modern Cantonese dictionary. Publications that documented this distinction include Williams, S., A Tonic Dictionary of the Chinese Language in the Canton Dialect, 1856. Cowles, R., A Pocket Dictionary of Cantonese, 1914. Meyer, B. and Wempe, T., The Students' Cantonese English Dictionary, 3rd edition, 1947. Chow, Y. Cantonese Primer, 1947. The depalatalization of sibilance caused many words that were once distinct to sound the same. For comparison, this distinction is still made in modern standard Mandarin, with most alveolopalatal sibilants in Cantonese corresponding to the retroflex sibilance in Mandarin. For instance, even though the aforementioned references observed the distinction, most of them also noted that the depalatalization phenomenon was already occurring at the time. Williams 1856, writes, The initials CH and TS are constantly confounded, and some persons are absolutely unable to detect the difference, more frequently calling the words under TS as CH, than contrarywise. Cowles 1914, adds. S. Initial may be heard for shish, initial and vice versa. A vestige of this palatalization difference is sometimes reflected in the romanization scheme used to romanize Cantonese names in Hong Kong. For instance, many names will be spelled with shish even though the shish sound is no longer used to pronounce the word. Examples include the surname Shi, SK, which is often romanized as Shek, and the names of places like Sha Tin, Sha Tien, Sa Tin. The alveolopalatal sibilants occur in complementary distribution with the retroflex sibilants in Mandarin, with the alveolopalatal sibilants only occurring before I or Y. However, Mandarin also retains the medials, where I and Y can occur, as can be seen in the examples above. Cantonese had lost its medials some time ago in its history, reducing the ability for speakers to distinguish its sibilant initials. In modern-day Hong Kong, many younger speakers are unable to distinguish between certain phoneme pairs such as N versus L, and merge one sound into another. Although that is often considered as substandard and is denounced as being lazy sounds. Lan Yin it is becoming more common and is influencing other Cantonese speaking regions see Hong Kong Cantonese, Du E is sometimes read as TO1322, not TO1322, Shui Gui is sometimes read as SK33KI22, not Sai T33KI22, but sound change of these characters air limit in that word. See also Proper Cantonese pronunciation Notes
References